All right, y'all. Gonna make this a quick video because it's pretty late. But I want to talk about heartbreak, relationships, shit like that. So if you click on this video, I'm assuming you were in a relationship with a girl and she broke your heart somehow. She broke up with you, she cheated on you, something happened. I'm going to tell you, it's not the end of the world. You'll find someone else. And guess what? If you're on the self-improvement path, you're going to find someone better. Which, you may not think about that now, but this girl that you have, even if she's like the love of your life, she wasn't if the relationship ended, right? Maybe she did something, you can move on. You gotta be stoic about it. You can't let these bad things impact how you function. You can feel the pain, but you still have to realize this can't stop me. This can't stop me moving forward as a person. It's like self-improvement, personal growth. It only just makes me feel kind of bad or really bad, however. If you're feeling the heartbreak, like the feeling, which I've felt before, and it's not a pleasant feeling. I'd say do something really physical, like work out, or if you've seen those like people on Instagram doing like those crazy workouts after they get heartbroken, those do work actually. It gives you kind of more energy, which I do recommend you channel that kind of heartbreak energy into into just personal growth. Just you know, your life just gets better. You know, an upward trend basically. And that heartbreak can start that process, can fuel it, right? Like, you could, you could be dating a girl for a couple of years, a couple of months, however long. You fall in love with her, and then she breaks up with you because she found someone new. I don't fucking know. Something, something, some scenario, right? But you use that pain to improve yourself. And then, once you're ready to talk to a new girl or whatever, you can find someone even better. Unless you're desperate. Which, don't be desperate. Try to find a better girl. Don't settle. Never settle. You'll find someone even better. Better personality. Better looks. Better fucking everything. If you improve yourself. And the only... I'd say there's... I was going to say there's, an, there's, a, the, uh, there's only one bad thing about heartbreak. But there really isn't. I mean, you, lo you lose a girl. But you gain this energy... It's a painful energy. It's like, imagine you're in a midlife crisis and then you improve your life by a lot or some point in your life crisis. That's what this is. This is a some point in your life crisis, right? Your bitch leaves you. Your girl breaks up with you. The love of your life leaves you for some other guy for some fucking reason. Something happens. She cheats on you. I don't fucking know. Use that pain that energy, that feeling of fucking sadness that, to just work out. That's what I would do. To go work out, be like, fuck this bitch. I'm going to get in the best shape of my life right now. I'm going to look better. I'm going to improve my looks. I'm going to improve my mental everything. I'm going to improve my mental health. I'm going to improve my social skills so I can talk to more people, make new friends. I'm going to make her regret leaving me or doing what she did. And that energy is so powerful. And I'm hoping that you follow this advice, right? Because it's fucking strong. It's honestly one of the strongest things I can think of for self-improvement, for starting it. Because, like, imagine, I, I honestly kind of don't want you to do this, but you're like, oh, I, I think I should skip the gym today. And then you're reading her text on saying, hey, I broke up with you because you're a skinny bitch. Like, wouldn't that make you want to work out or something like that? I don't know. Something like say, like, I got broke up with you because this guy, he, he's like six foot four and he's like 300 pounds or I don't know. I'm just making something up. But like that makes, that fuels you, bro. Because, I mean, unless you're a bitch, which I'm hoping you're not. I'm assuming you're not because you're watching my videos. Maybe you're subscribed too, which you should totally do that, by the way. You use that pain in your heart, because it's, you feel it in your heart, you're like, you get, like, I, I remember the first time I felt it, I was, da I dated this girl for, like, a couple months, and I just felt, like, such pain in my heart, I was like, oh my god, this hurts, and, like, I could barely get out of bed, I was, like, so depressed, and I didn't understand this concept that I'm talking about in this video, I didn't know this, I didn't know the whole redirecting the energy type stuff, of, like, my life sucks, so I want to improve it, I didn't know that, and now you do, so basically, a girl cheats on you, breaks your heart, 
something happens where she ends a relationship or you end it. I mean, this is different if she's a crazy bitch and you block and you're like, thank God she fucking left. Like, that's different. Right? Because I've had relationships like that where, oh my God. I mean, that's a lot of mine. It's just like, damn, this bitch crazy. She's doing all this crazy shit, saying, oh, the fuck. She's fucking arguing all the time, being argumentative for no fucking reason, just normally rude, annoying as shit. Oh my God. Sorry. I went <laughs> on a little side tangent there. But, uh, if she breaks your heart, use that fucking pain, bro. Because that is like, what, what are they called? Senzu beans, like in Dragon Ball. It's like one of those for your fucking self-improvement. It totally is, like a million times. Because you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to do, I don't want to work out today. I don't want to read today. I don't want to do, I don't want to better myself today. But then you think back, like, I want to find someone better. I want her to regret leaving me. And... Maybe long term, this isn't a good plan because, of course, eventually you're going to be like, "Oh, I like, I enjoy doing this, right? You, I, you enjoy self improvement. I genuinely enjoy working out. I like working out. I like going to the gym. I like doing cardio. I like all that stuff, and I like self improvement. I don't do it because of some bitch, right? I mean, it, it fuels me, right? It gives me a lot more motivation to push harder in the gym. So maybe like, oh, if I don't feel like it sometimes, then I push a little further. But it isn't start of the process for me. But it might for you. You might be like, damn, my life's a mess. This girl did. I mean, she might have had a reason to break up with you because she had some other guy and then you were kind of a loser. And you have to realize that. You can't be like, I'm never a loser because sometimes you just are. And even if you're you're young, you know, you're, you're still not on your game. And it, I mean, maybe if you're like, you just discover self-improvement, but if you've known about it for a few years, try to get something going. But still, I'm assuming you're still young, uh, depending on how old you are, but she might have had a reason to break up with you. And you have to find that reason. Maybe. Maybe she's just a bitch. Maybe she's just a whore. I don't know. Some fucking reason. But use that pain to fuel your workouts. To fuel your your drive. I could say motivation. But you have motivation to self-improve, I, I'm assuming. Maybe not. I don't know. I hope so. But if not, this will definitely help. Because what's your other option? You're going to just let, let her win? Like, let her just say, yeah, fuck you, you're a loser. And you're just going to be, like, stuck there? Like, what? Like, bro, come on. Like, are you going to be a loser? Like, fuck out of here. I really hope you aren't going to be like that. I really hope you're not going to be like, just give up. Like, don't give up. You got this. I mean, what's your other option? You got to lose? Like, what the fuck? I mean, you can't lose if you never quit. I mean, it's not it's not boxing where you get knocked out. You don't get knocked out in life unless you die. And you're not going to die from self-improvement. You're not going to die from a girl breaking your heart. There's no way. Unless you... I, no, there's no way. Even if she, like, fucking murders your whole family. There's no way. There's not... It's not going to happen. So, you can't lose. You can only win. Literally, it's only... I mean, it's a, it's a negative feeling, but it's a positive, like, mental... Not process. It's a positive thing to happen to you if she was a... She was nothing good for you, right? Because then you can use that energy to go get another girl who's way better, who's way more attractive, way smarter, way just better personality. I don't know. Whatever you want in a girl and if you self-improve and you try to better your life and try to be that guy that those girls want to be with, then absolutely. I don't think – I'm assuming here. I don't – I'm not a woman, so I don't know what women like, but – I'm assuming the more you self-improve and the more you try to make your life better, the better women you're going to attract, right? And that, I mean, I've, I've noticed that for sure. I mean, well, one, I used to be kind of desperate, but I've noticed I've, I've attracted higher quality women instead of just crazy bitches. Because, I mean, eh, it's still kind of crazy, but not like stupid annoying. But anyways... Hope you all found value in this video. If you did, make sure to like and sub. I am going to start posting more of these. I've been fucking behind with those daily vlogs. My bad, y'all. I've just literally... I mean, I don't have an excuse. I've just been procrastinating. Fucking four videos behind. I'm editing one literally right now. But anyways, see y'all in the next one.